for most of you who attended the session, you've probably been back at your office and um, much of the conversation and discussion that happened at the event has maybe flown by a little bit and uh, drifted into, into memory rather than front of mind as stuff that you're thinking about that you need to be acting on. And just in case you're wondering or you're thinking about how dynamic the future of work may actually be, a, a few things that have happened since the brief, in the brief period of time since we actually saw each other. Uh, in the beginning of March, Bitcoin, for the first time in its history, surpassed gold in terms of its value. So Bitcoin is now in, seen as a more valuable investment resource than gold. First time ever that's happened. Uh, an AI startup called Numerai, or a fintech startup rather, called Numerai, has created a hedge fund that makes all of its investment decisions using AI algorithms. It's the first 100% AI driven hedge fund. And something that happened in early February is Microsoft came out and proposed that we need a Geneva Convention for the digital world, particularly to protect corporations and organizations from cyber attacks when nation states get involved in conflict. And this is because even though organizations are multinational and digital, there's still a perceived geographical connection that we have. And so what we're seeing is even in the short period of time since we met each other in Canary Wharf, there is change. There are shifts happening in our world of work today that are impacting and reflective of the future world of work. So maybe just five very brief points. Uh, to leave with you as you continue to move forward and to think about the future world of work and changes that you need to make in your organization and within your team. Five characteristics, five things to engage with and, and skills that are needed to be effective in the digital world of work. The first thing is that we need to have innovative thinking that is adaptive in nature, not something that is rooted in solidity and I know that this is the way that it is, but rather innovative thinking that's consistently and continuously nimble and working with changing dynamics and changing context. The second characteristic for success in the future digital world of work is that we need to be able to engage in distributed or maybe a better word would be virtual collaboration where it's not a matter of just collaborating with a person who's right next to me or who's attending a meeting with me in a boardroom but being able to collaborate virtually and in a distributed way a lot like uh, blockchain is doing to the way we track records and we manage data and contracts but the key thing here is that in managing this distributed uh, collaboration we need to develop a level of social intelligence to be able to do it effectively the third skill for the digital workplace is that we need to have multidisciplinary exposure so not just be exposed to it to concert to information and conversations in my area of speciality but begin to be as broad as possible with the level of conversation, the areas where we engage with conversation and the places where we go and draw on for resources to help us make decisions. The fourth area is that we need to have access to and be able to use multiple media channels for the way that we both access and build our intelligence and share and connect with information. So lots of different media channels, not just written, not just text. One of the big things is that there's a huge drive to video. So my children, when they have a problem today, they don't Google it, I Google it. I'm a 45 year old generation Xer, I Google a problem. My millennial children, YouTube it. The way that they're looking for solutions to problems is to find a video and to get somebody to engage with them at a visual level, not just a text-based thing. And that then links into the fifth area that we need to be engaging with to be digitally smart for the future world of work. And that is what we have to have digital intelligence. We need to understand that the world is no longer analog and everything that we're engaging with, everything that we're doing needs to have a digital layer and a 
digital core that means that we as the users, we as the people who are engaging and living and functioning in that world, need to fundamentally have a digital way of thinking that sits in our brain and we need to be digitally intelligent. So as we head into spring, we hope that you and your team will engage with new ways of thinking. Some of that, that life and that dynamism that spring brings, that you bring that into your workplace and that the team, myself, uh, the team at EY, that you tap into us and connect with us and use us if there's any way that we can engage with you and support you and help you and your team to become more effective in this increasing and ever-changing world of work.